Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today we got snow. We didn't get as much snow as some places got. We only got a few inches. But my daughter called me this morning and said that she couldn't get out of the driveway because it was too slippery. She couldn't get any um, traction. She, Her driveway is a hill so she really, it would be hard. So I had to bring Paige's computer and her math paper and Kyle's folder because they left it at my house because they were supposed to come back today. But because they had couldn't get out, I brought it to their house, but I stopped at the top of the driveway because she said don't come down in because you might not get out. So as long as I was out, I decided I would go to Dollar General. And so I went to Dollar General and I bought a few things for Christmas. Are you falling asleep? Your head is nodding. <laughs> it's too warm for you? Oh dear, too bad. <laughs> I'm sure everybody else feels for you too, it's too warm. <laughs> but um, yesterday she was painting, so I'm going to put a little video in after I show you what we were, did with the extra paint. So when she was done painting, we took this paper and we just blobbed it on the dish, which you will see in the picture. And we pushed it down and collected and then we did it again, and this is what we got the second time. This is so cute. It looked like a, it almost looked like something, so I cut it out. Oops, is that the right side? Yeah, it's the right side. See, this side's kind of pretty, too, but it's got more dark. But it, we gathered up the paint, because she says to me, what are we going to do with the extra paint? And while I put it in the jar, remember yesterday, so I had stained fingers. Well, now we'll put that little video in. I forgot to mention one other thing. Yesterday I got this um, soap and I was talking to Cynthia in the comments and also Jan, Jan, Jan mentioned that um, the soap thing, this, this crocheted thing can work as a washcloth and a soap saver. Is You put your soap in it and it keeps the soap nice and you can use it to wash and it's mm -hmm. cotton made out of cotton so it's easy to wash but you of course take the soap out of the box but mm -hmm. that's all well, I forgot to tell you that mm -hmm. but I wanted to say that today in the video so this this is really a, a, like a tool two a dual a dual purpose thing it all not only holds the bar of soap looking cute it also is a washcloth so thank you very much Cynthia thank mm -hmm. you School work is done. We're working on fun stuff now. This is Paige's little, what's it called, Paige? A minion. Minion. She's painting. And I'm these are paints yellow. that she, this is how we do the paints. And this is how she does the water. And this is how she cleans the brush. And then she starts again. You're doing a very good job. I also had a tag that I was to do, and I was tagged by Desert Diva. And the tag is a holiday tag, kind of Christmas, kind of thanks, not Thanksgiving, kind of New Year's. And the questions, it's got 10 questions, and it wants to know if I'm going to celebrate or not. Well, typically we don't really celebrate, celebrate. We do have the family come and we have dinner and those that can come come and those that can't can't and so that's what we we do on that's for christmas and for new year's no we don't celebrate i'm lucky if i stay awake <laughs> and if we celebrate how will we stay safe well it's always the same people that i'm with so it's nobody new that's added and for the holiday for new year's i'll just be home with jim and my dog and my chicken chickens, mm -hmm. I should say, and my Mr. Brown. Um, your happiest Christmas memory? Well, I don't really have a happiest Christmas memory, but I have a memory of when I was in fourth grade. I <laughs> He's nodding again. <laughs> Stay I'm awake. Listening. Okay, I'm but, listening. but it makes me think you're sleeping when you do that no, stuff. No, I just, I'm listening. <laughs> um, when I was in fourth grade, I had a ruptured appendix, and so I spent Christmas at the hospital. It was actually, I was to me it was all right, but I'm sure my parents and my brothers and sisters were missing me. 
but I was having a good time. There was a boy that liked me there, and it was actually two boys, and they used to fight who was going to have their their meal with me because they, they were allowed to bring their their tray in and have either lunch or supper with me. And um, that was the year that I got my Christmas pole and my bride doll. Those were two things. Well, actually, I asked for three things. I asked for a flute, a fishing pole, and a bride doll. Well, I got the bride doll, I got the fishing pole, and the flute was a plastic flute. It's not what I was thinking. I wanted a real flute, but I got a flute. So that was probably my favorite Christmas of all Christmases. My brother got to come home from the Navy to see me because I was on critical condition, and I didn't know I was on critical condition, but um, my mother's cousin, Grace, wanted to visit, and they said, oh, no, only the immediate family because I was in really bad shape, apparently. So I'm lucky that I'm here because I was in fourth grade when that happened. And have you ever had a sad Christmas? No, I've never had a sad Christmas. Movies are part of the season. Yes, movies are part of the season. In fact, I watch a lot of movies. And no, no movie in particular. I just look for one that says Christmas on it and one that I haven't seen because there's a lot of new ones that are always coming out. Um, special holiday music that warms your heart. Well, as soon as you hear any music that is Christmas music, it gets you into the mood and it's, it's fun. Holiday drinks. I don't have anything special. I just drink... I usually drink coffee. Um, one year you got me that wine that was the frozen wine. What was that Ice called? Wine. Ice wine. And we saved that so that we could have it on New Year's. And I said, you have to wake me up so that I can <laughs> drink a little bit of it. Um, it's been a rough year, but tell me how you are thankful. Well, I'm thankful that no one in my family or no one that I know has had any illness or had a, had anybody that they lost through all this. I am thankful that I live where I live because if it wasn't for the news and the media, I would have no clue there was even anything going on out there other than the schools are are not in school in session and some people had to stay home from work for a while, but otherwise I wouldn't know what was going on because it was like it was like when I was in the hospital when I had one of my children I didn't know that the president had been shot. I I was dumbfounded to it. That was when Ronald Reagan, Reagan was in office. He was shot, and I didn't know anything about it because when you're in the when I was there, I didn't have the radio, I didn't have the TV, so I was kind of like shut off from the world. So that's how it would be if if we didn't have all this media hype. We wouldn't know anything about what's going on outside the, our little area. And if you ha the only place you'd maybe read something is in the newspaper. And that usually was the only time that you would hear it and see it is if you read it. Because the radio station maybe would have it on, maybe. But chances are it would be the local news, not the world news, not whatever things going on all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, and tell me... Your Christmas wish, my Christmas wish is that everything would be back to where it used to be so that I don't have to wear a mask and go, sh I, I don't like shopping as it is and then to have to have that on, I really don't feel like being in the store because it's just cumbersome. It's bad enough I have to carry my purse and then I have to carry that in and then put it on and then it just feels like I got all the way to the store door one day and I had to turn around and go back because, oops, I forgot my shield. So I had to go back and get it. And so I would like the world to be back like it was. And I also was, I have been watching, actually I watched the full, I think it was two hours long, I don't know, it was a live stream, but it was a good one. So if you, if you really want to hear about what life was like long ago, and, and um, they talked about now and then, and it's, it was good, it was the A-OK -okay Forging Adventures, where Thack had, t it was his his Tuesday Live. I w really wish I would have been there for that. It was a really good talk about how when we were younger, you know, we were, when I was younger anyways, we used to ride our bike and go wherever we wanted to go. And you know what? In that conversation, they said exactly what I was thinking in my head. 
you know, we, we were allowed to go. And people will say, well, times were different. Well, actually, times were the same as they are today. There were still serial killers out there. There were still pedophilers out there. It's just that you didn't know where they lived. You didn't know how many were in your town because media, once again, and that stuff that was informing you of all this, you you just didn't know. And it was it makes me think of a, a, a TikTok that my daughter did where mm. she said that and when she was growing up, she was allowed to have guns and knives and whatever. Yeah, we used to have a pocket knife. You were allowed to take a pocket knife to school. Oh. Whereas today, you take a pocket knife to school, you're going to get kicked out. I used to be able to take aspirin to school. Today, you wouldn't be allowed to do that. So there's so many things that they don't allow you to do. But anyways, they said, well, we were smarter than the kids of, than the, <laughs> than the other kids. And what happened to the dumb kids? Well, they're not around anymore. Mm. That didn't make it. The ones that, that were, um, they didn't know how to use the gun or the knife or whatever, and they're gone. Well, I guess that's my talk of today. Oh, and somebody else mentioned fishneck stockings. I had fishneck, fishnet stockings. They, they talked about using them as their um, Christmas stocking and how they stretched and stretched and stretched and stretched. And you could really fill them up good. But... I don't know if you remember fishnet stockings. And then I was watching another one, and they talked about, um, no, I forgot what they talked about. Oh, it was a McCurricom or not, or maybe it was, I don't know, some kind of medicine that people used to put on, and it used to burn like heck. Um, oh, gosh. I think it was McCurricom. Probably was the McCurricom. And I remember my sister-in-law putting that on my niece's head all the time, wherever the mosquito bite bit. And their hair actually turned orangish color because <laughs> it's it's got a, a stainingness to it. The stuff had a stain to it. Well, that's the video of today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will look forward to seeing your comments. So you take care, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye bye.